Welcome to the roundup of the best new Android games that went live in the Play Store or were spotted by us in the previous week or so. Please wait for this page to load in full in order to see the widgets, which include ratings and pricing info. Link for the previous roundup editions. Find them here. Games Project High Rise Android Police Coverage, Calypso Media Skyscraper Construction Sim, Project High Rise, is out on Android Calypso Media's Project High Rise has been labeled by many as the spiritual successor to Sim Tower, and rightfully so. Just like its inspiration this is a deep and rewarding skyscraper building simulator. The Android release is a port of the well-reviewed PC title, and it doesn't cut any corners. This means you get the full PC experience, all from the comfort of your favorite Android device. Just keep in mind that it is best played on a tablet thanks to a heavy use of text and buttons that can be difficult to deal with on a smaller screen. Monetization, $3.99 per no ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $3.49, unleash your inner architect as the mega hit PC skyscraper sim arrives on tablet. Playing as both architect and developer, your job is to build world-famous skyscrapers that will be the envy of the entire city. Manage every aspect of your building from construction through to keeping your tenants happy. Success is entirely in your hands. Android Police Coverage, Friday the 13th, Killer Puzzle, is the perfect game to play today. Blue Wizard Digital is best known for their serial killer-themed puzzle game Slay Away Camp. With its recent popularity at the tail end of last year, the devs apparently struck a deal with New Line Cinema to use their Friday the 13th license. Friday the 13th, Killer Puzzle is the result of that agreement. The Sokoban gameplay remains the same as the original. One key difference is that it foregoes any upfront pricing for a more streamlined free-to-play release that uses in-app purchases for four separate loot boxes. If you happen to purchase one of those boxes, you will gain a few items, but more importantly, you will also remove all of the pop-up advertisements. Monetization, free, contains ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $4.49, stock and slay campers across 100 puzzle levels with horror icon Jason Voorhees. From the campgrounds of Crystal Lake to the high-rises of Manhattan, from supermax prisons to snowy ski resorts, Jason will terrorize victims across the world, and maybe beyond. Android Police Coverage, Crypto Rider lets you ride the thrilling roller coaster of cryptocurrency prices Superfly Games Crypto Rider is a hilarious game that mimics the gameplay of Line Rider, but instead of drawing your course, you race along pre-designed lines that display as the rapidly rising and falling price of Bitcoin. There are 9 cars to unlock, and 10 different tracks to race on. Your primary goal is to earn a spot at the top of the global leaderboard. Monetization, free, contains ads, no IAPs, Crypto Rider is a 2D racing game, where the tracks are real-life historical price data of popular cryptocurrencies. Collect blocks to unlock new racers. Fed up of watching all the price dips? Well now you can ride them. Race along Bitcoin's all-time higher the rise and fall of BitConnect. Android Police Coverage, Game Loft's post-apocalyptic zombie MMORPG, Dead Rivals, is officially available. Dead Rivals is the latest, free-to-play mobile MMORPG from Game Loft. It was released without any fanfare from the dev, which becomes clear why it was ignored once you play it for a few minutes. It has a tendency to force close, plus the gameplay is often very laggy. Past those two game-breaking issues, you are left with an uninspired zombie-themed MMO that pretty much plays itself thanks to the inclusion of an auto-play button for both questing and battles. Monetization, free, no ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $99.99, fast-paced action meets classic MMORPG adventures in the first zombie-themed ARPG for mobile. Explore a vast open world, customize your hero, build your arsenal and rule the PvP battlefields. Fight for survival and explore a vast post-apocalyptic open world in the first zombie action RPG for mobile. Rebellipus Classic Snake Game Gold is the sequel to their previous blocky snakes title. It is a premium release with an upfront price, but if you would like to try it out for yourself, there is also a free version available. Gameplay revolves around growing the length of your snake while you also trying to avoid running into your growing body as you make your way around the maze-like stages. Monetization, $2.99 per no ads, no IAPs, Classic Snake Game is a 3D snake game, where you can relive your memories with a classic hit. Slither through your way in an arena and don't bite yourself. Eat fruits and frogs to be the biggest snake and gain more score. Play with the snake crane to win new characters.
Arte Experiences Vandals is an impressive-looking puzzle game that eerily copies the gameplay found in Square Enix's Go series of games. The story revolves around the practice of street art. You play the part of a criminal who is tagging up the city streets of the world, and it is your job to avoid the cops that are trying to arrest you for your vandalism. Monetization, $5.49 per no ads, no IAPs, Vandals is an infiltration game that will transport you to the most emblematic cities of street art. This turn-based game, the aim is to sneak around police surveillance and spray walls that grow harder and harder to access. From Paris to Tokyo, via Sao Paulo, Berlin and New York, follow in the wake of ultra-famous street artists like Black Lorad and Keith Haring. Developer, Arte Experience Little Skaters is a pleasant-looking, pixel-based skateboarding game. It plays a lot like the classic arcade game Frogger. You tap on the screen to move forward, and you can swipe left or right to move in those corresponding directions. As you make your way through the city streets, you'll have to avoid the many obstacles obstructing your path but not all of them, as some of the items can be used for tricks. The more tricks you can pull off, the more in-game currency you earn. Monetization, free, contains ads, no IAPs, guide your little skaters to perform tricks on park benches, rails, steps and other objects. Dodge cars, pedestrians, trains and other hazards. Collect all the little skaters and share your achievements with friends. Hours of endless gameplay. Lots of fun and totally free to play. Developer, Little Adventures Com 2 US is a developer that is best known for using unscrupulous practices in all of their free-to-play games. That is why the beta release of Danceville is so surprising. It doesn't yet contain any in-app purchases, which means right now is the best time to get in on this quirky dancing game. You can produce your own music within the app, plus you can create dance moves with your in-game characters so that they can groove along to your tunes. But best of all you can upload videos of such events and share them with other players. Monetization, free, contains ads, no IAPs, a new concept of a game you've never seen before. Produce your own music video and share the dance, music, character and background you created. Enter the world of D-A-N-C-E-V-I-L to experience a whole new game genre. Tired of all the same games? Need something new that can give you a thrill? D-A-N-C-E-V-I-L offers you unique stories, background and characters to decorate. Dumb Luck Games' premiere release on the Play Store is a fantastic first effort. It's called Retro Highway, and it plays a lot like the classic arcade racer outrun, but with a free-to-play bend. You will still be racing around while avoiding any obstructions in your path, but you will also want to collect as many coins as possible during each run so that you can afford new bikes or one-use power-ups. Monetization, free, contains ads, IAPs from $1.99 to $3.99, hit the retro highway and return to the days of blast processing and pure arcade fun. Retro Highway is a throwback mobile game aiming to combine the accessibility of modern titles with the high skill challenge and charming aesthetics of old. Experience high-octane old-school action on your phone or tablet Complete daring challenges Explore six unique environments ranging from a hot desert to a futuristic moon base Customize your playstyle by choosing from a diverse garage of 10 bikes and by upgrading various power-ups Embrace the nostalgia rush caused by stylish pixel art visuals and chiptune soundtrack Developer, Dumb Luck Games Umbrella Games Monster Merge reminds me a lot of the gameplay found in the tile combing game 3s but with a more kid-friendly theme and an interesting 3D view so instead of combining items on a flat 2D plane, you'll have to think your moves out more carefully now that verticality has been added to the mix. Monetization, free, contains ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $14.99, drag identical monster together to discover 52 unique species and upgrade your buildings in this highly addictive game. Play mini games to earn more coins, and expand your world. Developer, Umbrella Games, LLC. Warhammer Quest 2, The End Times is the sequel to the turn-based dungeon crawler Warhammer Quest. You can expect larger 3D dungeons, along with a deeper story and better graphics. So far reviews have been positive, though there have been a few complaints about the item management UI and infrequent crashing. I haven't experienced either of these problems, but your mileage may vary. Monetization, $4.99 per no ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $19.99, Dungeon Adventures in the Warhammer World are back. In Warhammer Quest 2, The End Times, you will lead your warriors across a war-torn land and into dungeons for wealth and glory. Swing swords, fire arrows and cast spells as you fight through the denizens of chaos. 
Success in battle is rewarded with new weapons, armors, skills and treasure. Genera games have released a few head soccer games in the last few years, and the reception has been positive. So, I see no reason why that would change with the recent release of Head Soccer Russia Cup 2018. If you are unfamiliar with the series, it is a goofy bobblehead soccer game that contains one-on-one -on -one matches where you need to score more goals than your opponent. There are only a couple moves at your disposal, so you will have to think quickly in order to get a leg up on your competition. Monetization, free, contains ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $43.99, Soccer Ball Heads Soccer Russia Cup 2018 Soccer Ball is a free football game set in the football event of the year, the World Soccer Cup to be played in Russia in the summer of 2018. In this game you can take your favorite national team to the championship game that will be held in Moscow and be proclaimed the world champion of football. Kemco is known for releasing new RPGs on the Play Store at a rapid pace. Their latest game RPG Heirs of the Kings is a turn-based affair that plays a lot like the old-school JRPGs of the 90s. Each character has their own upgrade path, and you can even customize your weapons to make sure they are as strong as possible for the optional arena battles. Really, there isn't much new here, but for the fans of the genre, it should offer a comforting experience that mimics the glory years of JRPGs. Monetization, $4.99 per contains ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $49.99, Laura, a girl who has lost her memory, and a mysterious pursuer. Grant, a young man, happens to come across Laura, and, in order to protect her, becomes separated from his father. Grant's father seems to know something about this mystery. With the words of his father ringing in his heart, Grant's journey begins, for Laura, and to save the world from danger. Chrono MA, Gia is a brand new competitive card game from Gung Ho Alini Entertainment. The gameplay is simple to understand, which means matches move at a quick pace. Rest assured, there are still plenty of strategies to be found thanks to the broad swath of customization options allowed in its deck building mechanics. The only question left is whether or not enough players will flock to this release to keep it alive and worth playing. Monetization, free, contains ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $54.99, an original competitive card game from Gung Ho. Character, skill, card variety delivers unparalleled strategy. Battle your way to the top of the world ranking your way. Chrono MA, Gia, an authentic competitive card game that balances approachability with deep strategy. Diverse characters, a wide selection of skills, and freedom in card selection ensure endless strategic possibilities. Don't let your guard down. Sudden reversals of fortune lead to intense card battles. Compete against players from around the world in online matches. Vertical interface specially designed for ease of use on smartphones. Greenlight Games Aquila, First Contact is billed as a massively multiplayer 4x strategy game, and it would appear that they actually deliver on this front. It contains real-time battles with up to 3v3 players, and they will take place in a single persistent universe. Oh, and if you don't enjoy PvP, there is also plenty of solo and co-op content to keep you busy. Monetization, free, no ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $64.99, Aquila, first contact. Join the beta now. Aquila is a massively multiplayer 4x game. Create a station, build and customize your fleet of battleships. Research, craft or loot new equipment from pirate flights or other players in real-time PvP. Ships can be upgraded with new weapons, fittings, riggings and power cells allowing you to customize your fleet for each battle. A lot of EFUN Company Limited's games tend to concentrate on action RPG content with a clear Chinese theme. Three Kingdoms, Massive War deviates a little from this structure with its real-time strategy gameplay. This means you can expect plenty of PvP action that will task you with commanding three troops, all at the same time. So it is up to you to control up to 15 heroes and thousands of soldiers as you launch a fierce attack against your opponents. Monetization, free, no ads, IAPs from $0.99 cents to $99.99, Three Kingdoms, Massive War is an epic war-themed multiplayer online real-time strategy game that lets you act as a lord in the Three Kingdoms period, join the states of Wei, Shu, or Wu, and battle against friends and enemies from the other states. You will be free to conquer kingdoms and explore in the fantasy world map, which is largely faithful to the history. Peak Games Beast Brawlers is a 2v2 MOBA for Android that plays out in 2-minute matches. 
There are three modes to choose from that range from 4-player arena combat to a lopsided 1v3 mode where you must collect as many orbs as possible before you die. So if you have been looking for a new mobile MOBA to check out this may be precisely what you have been looking for. Monetization, free, contains ads, IAPs from $1.99 to $104.99, voted top 10 game of 2017 at the Google Play Indie Games Festival. Dollars, mount up, choose your beast and get ready to fight in the ultimate real-time online battle arena. Round up your friends and get ready for an epic multiplayer slugfest. Each beast rider controls their own destiny and battles for fans in a highly charged arena, all in two minutes. At this point Trump games are a dime a dozen. So it's easy pickings when it comes time to list a WTF game. Now normally I wouldn't bother with any of them since the majority are such low-hanging fruit, but I just couldn't resist this week's release of Digger J. Trump. It is chock full of humorous puns, such as being tasked to dig for Millennium. At its corp this is actually an enjoyable mining game, though the amusing theme is really the star of the show here. Monetization, free, contains ads, IAPs from $1.99 to $99.99, 2018, things are crazy, but about to get crazier. A meteor crashes to earth containing melanium, and or that, when sniffed, cures disease and stops aging. President Trump orders NASA to refashion itself as an interstellar mining operation and stuns the world by renaming himself Digger J. Trump, taking off to mine melanium across the universe. Developer, Double Coconut If you have an application in mind for the next issue of the Roundup, feel free to send us an email and let us know. Important, there are two requirements in order for the app to be considered, listed below. The app's launch date has to be no longer than two weeks ago it has to be original, groundbreaking, well-reviewed, interesting, fun, etc., the cream of the crop now, if and only if the above requirements have been satisfied, fire up an email to this address, via email protected. One sponsored placement per week is available, your app would be featured at the top and marked as sponsored, please contact us for details.